computer. We're doing easy mode, right? Because oh, uh, it's a stupid escort quest. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. We decided we're doing easy mode for, this is the last one we're doing easy mode for. Which hello. Somehow we will fail. Oh, hello everybody. We're going to do easy mode today. <laughs> we're playing Gloomhaven. <laughs> um, I'm Mark, this is Melissa. We've been playing Gloomhaven for over a year now. You're catching this, like, I don't know, 20 something video or something like that. If you, if this is the first one you're watching, you probably want to start way back in the beginning, February of 2020, pre-COVID. <laughs> um, anyways, we are about to do a quest that we failed um, like half a year ago or something like that. Maybe not that far back, but pretty far back. Last pretty fall, far. I think. Oh, I guess that is half like a year. Half oh my gosh, it's <laughs> April. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what day. Time has no meaning before. anymore. <laughs> so the reason why we failed is because it's a stupid escort quest, and and um, and the person we were escorting had a death wish. <laughs> mm. He does. He really has a death wish. Yeah. So we're, we're and doing... no, he has no attack. He just runs into places and gets whacked. Mm -hmm. So. But we were like first level or second level characters back then. Now we are better. Mm -hmm. I think I'm level six now. Yeah, and I'm I'm level five. Mm -hmm. We've gotten better, and we're gonna hope to not lose this time. But he only has twelve hit points, so. Actually, I think last time he only had like eight hit points or some absurdly low number of hit points because we were so low level at that point. Hmm. These are our second characters. For those of you just tuning in who did not believe us when we said that you should start over at the beginning, these are our second set of characters. Our first set of characters retired. Lucky them because they didn't have to do this escort quest. But they also left quite a legacy. They went and completely demolished the village of Inox warriors and stuff. And we actually, for this quest, have to sneak into a different village of Inox warriors, um, but there's no history mm. between us. <laughs> yeah, these are slavers, whereas the previous was a, a, a like village village. Is that my phone or yours? I have to turn on airplane mode. OK. okay. Um, okay. But before we do this, we have to do a city event and then a road event. Yes, we do. So I have my cards. I will do city event. 15. OK. It was a truly marvelous night full of alcohol and fuzzy memories. There is a lot of alcohol in this game. Um, you are heading back to your rooms in high spirits when you take a wrong turn into an alley and trip over a mutilated corpse. Hmm. What's all this then? You look up to see a city guard walk into the alley, annoyed by all the noise you're making in your revelry. Before you can react, he draws his sword. You, what did you do? You look and see that due to the fall, your clothes are now covered in blood. The guard clearly thinks you are responsible for the man's death. This night just took a serious turn for the worse. Option A, do your best to explain to, that the man was like this when you found him. Option B, panic and kill the guard, then dispose of both corpses. Jesus Christ. Well, I'm like a paladin. I think I would try to talk my way out of it. Yeah. Option A, agreed. Okay. Um, if our reputation is greater than five, let me double check what our reputation is. I feel, yeah, our reputation is 20. So, um, you sober up pretty quickly and explain the situation. Luckily, the guard is familiar with your reputation and believes your story. After a few more questions, he allows you to leave and clean up. No effect. And we're supposed to remove this card from the deck. Okay. Like rip it in half. Remove the next morning, deck. we wake up and we trudge on over to wherever this is. <laughs> and we encounter... 15 again. Okay. 
You are walking down the road when the sound of many wings pulls your gaze to the sky. Above you, you see a large flock of red birds flying southward. At that height, you figure a well-aimed arrow could bring one of them down to make a nice meal. I feel like we had this one before. Option A, shoot at the birds. Option B, let the birds pass undisturbed. I think we chose option B before, and that's why we got the card again, because we probably put it back in the deck or something. Oh, yeah, probably. Let's shoot it now. <laughs> We're going to shoot at the birds. Oh, no. You pull back your bow and take aim. The instant you lose the arrow, however, you notice something odd about the birds. They are much further away than you realized and much bigger. Mm. The arrow misses, but it gets their attention. As the flock turns and descends towards you, you realize you just shot at a group of drakes. You run for cover among the trees, but are hit by their acidic spit a number of times in the process. All start scenario with muddle and two damage. So oh, well done us. <laughs> and it goes back in the deck. <laughs> back in the deck? Yeah. We need to not shoot at the birds. <laughs> muddle and two damage. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> That's funk. <laughs> Um, That's what we get for shooting at birds. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we've got this scenario is 38. Eight. And we are, are we at level two? Yes, level two. Okay. I will say that's one thing that um, I'm sad about this app, which is the same app that you're using, is that it doesn't have like the extra pieces. So like it doesn't have this guy. There's not a space to put our escorted guy in or like mm -hmm. if you have to destroy an altar, it's not on there, things like that. I wish that was in there. Yeah. Instead, I have this, which is fine, but not as fun. Well, when I actually bought the Gloomhaven PC game, mm -hmm. and you have it already, right? Mm -hmm. So when they release the campaign on that game, maybe there's a way to like get it to be synced up with our with this version campaign, and then just play on that. That would be cool because it would make all this recording stuff way easier. <laughs> <laughs> it would make it way easier, although it's kind of like kitschy charm, right? That we're playing a game using actual analog game <laughs> over so, yeah. internet. <laughs> we could also play the tabletop simulator version, I guess. But I don't not. have. I could get tabletop simulator. I don't have it. Yeah, I don't have it either. <laughs> There's something nice about just having it right here, you know. Mm -hmm. I think it's easier to like strategize because you can get a better picture. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, do you want to read the intro? Sure. <sighs> oh, hail again. I forgot. This section of the forest is a maze of thorns and angry spirits, Hale says, pointing to the second location on the map. We already did the first and third location, so we're just going back to two. You'll never find the corruption on your own. You'll need a guide, someone who knows the dagger forest better than they know themselves. There is a group of native orchids that may be able to help. When you arrive at the orchid camp, however, you find something wholly unexpected. It is a scene of massacre and devastation, burned out buildings and disfigured corpses. Judging from the wounds, you figure a raiding party of Enochs did this. Luckily, Enochs don't feel a particular need to cover their tracks. You're able to follow their trail deeper into the woods where eventually you find a slave labor camp. Enoch's guards overseeing a group of ragged orchids and humans working to construct catapults and other machines of war. The camp is not particularly well guarded from intruders, and after eliminating a couple of key lookouts, you are able to slip into the slave pens and free one of the orchids. Yes, I can guide you through the deeper forest, the or orchid says, but I cannot abandon my brethren or let what these Enochs are doing go unanswered. He moves over to a guard's corpse and picks up a blade. You can help me if you want, but either way, blood must be spilled in this place. 
The orchid rushes forward at a group of Enochs yelling wildly. Soon the whole camp is bustling with hostile activity. If you want a guide, it looks like you'll need to keep him alive. So um, special rules, the orchid uh, has 12 hit points and he is an ally to us and an enemy to all monsters. And he acts at the end of the round and all he does is move forward and opens doors and springs traps. Like, he, doesn't, he doesn't attack? No, he just runs screaming. What's the then, point of picking up a sword? <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I'm an idiot. All he does is move three. All right, I drew two of these thingies for you. Oh, right. I forgot about that part. It's been too long. Can you see that? Yep. I got it. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to do this one. I'm doing this one. Okay. Where are you starting? Um, we can't start adjacent to them yet, right? No, we have to move forward one. I guess I'll just start right here. Can you okay. see that? Uh, okay. Yep. So like it front left of the guy? Uh-huh. All right, I'm gonna start front right of the guy because I feel like we need to be in his way as much as possible. Yeah. Okay, these guys, five and six. They've got nine hit points. Yes, they do. Do you think my summons get muddled since I'm muddled? I don't think so. Okay. At least we'll be done being muddled after the end of the first round. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can heal him too, right? Uh, yes. I don't know if we want to use up your heals on him, but if we're going to lose. Oh, and our win condition is we have to kill all the enemies and protect the orchid. So we can't like leave anybody behind. And where is he heading? He's heading to the shaman in the final room. Okay. I guess I'm ready. I have 65. I have 82. Six, five. They're moving first. Move three, attack two. Okay, so I guess this guy will move 
against wall against the wall towards okay. me. Mm -hmm. And attack me. Draws a zero. So that's a attack of two, right? Mm -hmm. Take it. <laughs> the other guy uh, moves to between us mm -hmm. and also attacks me. Draws a, also a plus zero. Two more. I took four points of damage. Awesome. But now it's my turn. Um, so he's going to go try to go around you already, by the way. I'm looking at where he is. And he's do, you gonna... want, do you think it's better if we move? No, they have to attack me. He's going to like walk up next to this dude no matter what. Although as he's he's 99, so as long as we are right next to him. Yeah, you go before him, so you could just you put a summon in front. Yeah, I, that, I was planning to summon, but it's just... Yeah, never mind. Um, I'm going to attack and stun um, this guy. OK. Attack two, stun. Ooh, I heal self one. Plus one, so three points on that guy and stun. OK. One, two, three, stun. And then I am going to um, basically activate this card so I have one shield for the rest of the scenario. OK. Except I have minus one move also for the rest of the scenario. OK, I'm done. All right. I am going to summon my shadow wolves. One right there. And one right there. Which takes me forever, so sorry. Three, one, two, three, one, two. Oops. Are you adding them in the same app that we're using here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it lets me put them in. How do you do that? Um, see the little plus? Mm -hmm. um, if you hit that, then you can like choose what color and everything and all that jazziness. Gotcha. It it's pretty nice, but sometimes I forget about it. So, <laughs> um, and then I am casting this, which lets me um, two summoned allies within range two perform attack plus zero with you controlling the actions. So only this one guy that's next to the Enox gets to hit, but that's fine. Um, so he attacks for two plus zero. So he attacks the the guy in the middle for two. Okay, so he's at seven now? Yes. And that is my turn. Okay. What and now I... the guy just comes next to me, right? Right here? Uh, yeah, I think so. One, two. And then stops. Mm -hmm. He has his sword and he doesn't do anything with it. Yeah. That still seems wrong to me. Yeah, I feel like he should at least like trip and whack into them.
Okay, I have 32. I also have 32. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. We'll let the app decide. Okay. It put me, mine put me in front of you. Did yours do the same thing? Yes. Okay. Um, well, they're moving first. They're shielding up and then attacking me for three and poison. Awesome. Except one of them stunned, so he does nothing, except gets unstunned. Okay, that's good. The other guy hits me at minus one, so it's two attack and poison. But I have one shield, so it's one attack, but also but poison. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, I was muddled. I forgot to draw two cards. Too late now. Yeah. I drew a plus one, so. The other one was a times two, so the the times two didn't happen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so I got hit and poisoned. And the one guy is shielded. Is the guy who was stunned? Does he not get to shield himself? Yeah, he doesn't do anything. Okay. I don't think anyway. Cannot do anything but rest. Okay. So that means uh, this guy is shielded, but not this guy. The guy in the <laughs> middle is shielded. Okay. Um, but anyways, I am going to let you attack, make an attack four. Okay. Against shielded guy because I'm next to him, I guess. I guess not, so. it, it's not ranged. Oh no. Okay. Plus one. So I attack him for five, except I don't have pierce, so I attack him for four. Okay. This guy there. So he's down to three. Mm hmm. No, two, I think. Didn't he have seven? No, because you hit for plus one. No, the guy in the middle. Right? Oh, duh. Yes, you're right. I was marking it on the wrong one. And then my other um, thing will be I now have retaliate. Cool. So I, I have one shield and retaliate now. <laughs> Okay, your turn. Okay, so my first wolf attacks the guy next to him for two. He has pierce of two, so he goes right through the shield, plus zero, so he hits that guy for two. One, two. My other wolf um, goes one, two, sort of behind that same guy and hits him for two. Uh, and he whiffs. He totally whiffs. Sad. Okay. Sad. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, so then I'm going to attack that same guy for three and immobilize. But if I hit him for three, then the immobilize doesn't matter. Plus one. So that guy's dead. Dead. And... Then, oh wait, no, I meant to do that the other way around. Not three and immobilize, three and pierce. So that guy's dead. Um, dead. And then I'm gonna attack the other guy for three and immobilize, plus two, five and immobilize. Jesus Christ. One, two, three, four, 
five. And that is my turn. I'm taking it very seriously. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh God, how far okay. can this guy move, the NPC? He moves three at a time. Oh, shoot. Is he about to? Yeah, he's going to be next to the door. Because he moves through me, right? One, two, three, here. Yeah. One of us needs to get in the doorway. That's what <laughs> Okay, I can try to get in the doorway. Okay. Actually, more than just get in the doorway, get in the doorway and block things up because he'll still move through us. This is oh, yeah, you're right. But he has 99, so hopefully if I get in the doorway, hopefully there will be a monster that will just come towards me, right? Yes. I can try to get my wolves in the way too, but it's still going to be one, two, three, one, two three, one, two, three. Like we basically need to make it so, mm, I don't know, it's gonna be, it's gonna be rough. It's, he can get to like all of these spaces if we don't get things blocked up properly. Well, do you want me to stand in a doorway or move, keep going forward from the doorway? Like maybe I should move as far as I can. Maybe. Try to keep him behind me, you know? Mm hmm I might want to, I might should like uh, summon something else too to block up more space. Oh, I could do my skeleton guy. I can move four. One, two, three. Like I can move here. Mm -hmm. And if there's monsters, then they'll come here, hopefully. I haven't looked at the room. Oh. <laughs> That's a tight room. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. And this is where things started to go south last time, too, because he went zooming out and, like, somehow we got one of the guys out of the way and he just went zooming into the next room and died. Yeah. Because he steps on traps and everything. He's gone berserker. Well, let's see what happens. I got 23. Um, I have 92. This guy has 55. He's going to move attack. Hmm. Will you be able to kill this guy if I move? I'm just gonna move. Okay. He, he's not gonna move, he's immobilized. Okay, I am moving four spaces. Oh wait, yeah, I'm moving four spaces. One, two, three, four to here. And we've got a stone golem. What are these archers? Yeah. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, no. So you've moved away. And he's not going to move, and the orchid is right there. He's going to whack the orchid. That's why I wanted you to kill him. He, I can't kill him when I don't go until after him. But, oh, you're right. <laughs> um, I was thinking that he had 99. Um, no, he has 55. Um... It'll be okay. I don't have to move. 
No, I think that I think this is the way to go because otherwise he's going to go in with all these other guys and get whacked multiple times. So it's better for him to get hit once in the room than hit three times out of the room. Yeah, let me populate the stone golem. Two archers are. I'm doing gloomhaven. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible. I hate this one. Okay, well, for my second thing, I am putting up another shield just until the end of this round. So I have two shield now. Okay. Maybe we'll be super lucky and he'll whiff. Yeah, maybe. So the two archers go. Um, they stay where they are because they're within range of me and they just shoot me. Awesome. <laughs> so one guy draws a plus one, so it hits me for three, but I have two shields, so it hits me for one. The other guy draws a um, plus one. But you are, you're also poisoned. But you're right. So what does that mean? I get an extra damage. Yeah. So I'm at 10. And then the other guy does the same thing. So he hits me for two more points. I'm at eight. I forgot I was poisoned. I should heal myself. <laughs> you should probably do that. <laughs> um, then this guy takes a whack at our friend. Attack three. And he strengthens himself. So he attacks our friend for plus zero, so three points. So he has, he's down to nine now. Mm -hmm. Bastard. <laughs> he's no longer immobilized, right? Yeah, and he's no longer immobilized. OK. And then the stone golem attacks me for five. <laughs> Terrible. Minus one, so that's. Four minus two shields, that's two, plus one poison, so his three starts three. I'm at five. Ooh, this is gonna... This is gonna be like, the, again, the shortest. <laughs> what the hell? The stupid... We're gonna have to cheat really badly at, at this rate. Okay, oh, is it my turn? You have to retaliate, so the stone golem gets two damage. Oh, okay, well that's good. And now it's your turn. Okay. So. So here's the thing. Oh, wait. No, the stone golem. Okay. It's okay. All right. So my first guy moves over onto the loot so that he can hit this Enox for two. Plus one for three, this guy is dead. Which uh, wolf was that? That was the wolf that was in front. Yep. And then my second wolf goes one, two, three, up next to this other stone, next to the stone golem and tries to hit him for two and he has pierce of two. So, um, Plus one, so for hits for three. And totally pierces through the shield. Okay. So it's stone golems at six. Yes. And then I'm moving forward. Um oh shoot. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm trying to figure out how to block this guy from moving and he, yeah, okay. One, two, three, four, five in between the archer and the stone golem. Mm -hmm. And then I am summoning my thorn shooter into that other space. Um, 
almost, almost every hex in this room is occupied. <laughs> yeah, well, and here's the thing. He doesn't want to go into that back corner because that's not towards the other guy. So the best he can do is get in the doorway, I think. I think you're right. Good job. What a bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, red one and two, 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 one, two, three, four. Okay, and okay. now my turn is over. Oh, uh, yeah. He moves into the door. And he moves into the doorway, yes. Okay. Blocking my wolf in there. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. I need to heal myself, don't I? Yes, you absolutely need to heal yourself. Oh, these all suck. Okay, I have 18. I have 45. Man, Stone Gong goes first. Man. Oh, but all he does is retaliate. So just don't whack him. Okay, I can do that. Okay, Stone Gong goes first. He just has retaliate. Range three retaliate. Wow. Um, the archers are going to try to back up. So I'll do this guy first. He's going to go back here. One. Mm-hmm. And then he shoots whoever's closest, right? Or does he shoot whoever has lowest of issue? Um, it would be lowest initiative. In which case, he wouldn't move because he, you are one yeah. space away. So he shoots me for one minus one for zero points. And the other guy shoots me times two. So for two points, minus two shields, zero points. Okay. My turn. I heal myself for three. Uh, no, you don't. You get rid of your poison. Oh, shit. I get rid of the poison. Call. Cool. Um, but I, I also cause a sun um, mana to appear or whatever element. Then I <laughs> that's lame. I uh, shield up. Now I have shield three. This this shield is until the beginning of my next turn, right? Uh, I think shield is. It doesn't say, but yeah, I think until the beginning of your next turn. I hope so, because otherwise I just wasted it. Um, the beginning or the end of your next turn? I think it's the beginning of my next turn. But anyways, it's your turn. Okay. Um, all right, so first, my wolf that's right here, unfortunately, he hits the stone golem because he's too stupid not to mm -hmm. uh for two with pierce plus one for three but okay. then he, he also takes three damage yes so he's dead actually stupid wolf then my other wolf goes one two three and also attacks the stone golem for two. Ooh, wound, heal oneself. Does that heal me? It heals the wolf for one? I think so. <laughs> and then he whiffs. So, <laughs> so I guess no retaliate happens there because he whiffed. I don't know. What about the wound? The wound doesn't happen either? 
I don't think any of that happens. Okay. That's fine with me. Okay. And then, oh, wait, I wasn't supposed to shuffle yet. Um, okay. Then my thorn shooter. Um, oh, wait, that guy's dead. The thorn um, shooter shoots the golem, right? Yeah, he shoots the golem for two and poison. Plus one for three and poison. Stone golem is dead. Stone golem has one shield. You're right. Stone golem is not dead. But it is poisoned. But is poisoned. And one hit point too, right? I think. Yeah. Okay. And then what was I planning to do? Ah, um, I am going to. I'm going to attack the stone golem for two plus zero. So for one, because he's shielded. So he's actually, and then he's poisoned. So now he's dead for reals. Mm -hmm. He doesn't get to retaliate because he's dead. Yep. And then um, my, so I have a one adjacent summoned ally. Um, uh, move one attack, pl move plus one attack plus one with me controlling actions. So my thorn shooter goes one, two back onto the loot. No, 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 no. Terrible idea. <laughs> well, but they won't shoot him. Oh, that's true. Okay, one, two back onto the loot and then shoots. Um, I don't know, the one straight ahead of it for okay. three and poison plus zero. So three and poison on the one that's like right in front of me. Okay. And then I'm going to, nope, that's it. That's all I'm going to do. Okay. So then, and then he runs up to where your guy used to be. Yeah. Stupid guy. He's so dumb. He's going to run through the door next, so one of us has to get to that door. You won't, because those guys are in the way. Oh, right. He can't jump over them. And I have to do a short rest. Okay. Lost my jump. I have 23. You're doing a short rest. Yeah, hold on. Sorry. I have 32. What did you say you had? 23. All right, we'll go before them this time. Oh, you guys are in my way. <laughs> Sorry. Hmm. So I guess I need to like not kill these guys so that he doesn't go running through the door. I don't know. I guess so. I do nothing. I do nothing. You do nothing? I do nothing. I can't move. I can't, I can't attack. I can't move. So I do nothing. You don't have any like potions or anything you want to use? That's a good idea. I use my healing potion. I'm up to 10 now. No, you, no. I had five. Yeah, and then you healed off your poison. 
Yeah, and then I use a healing potion. Yeah, so then you're at seven now, right? Oh, you have a major healing potion, don't you? Yeah, yeah, it's a heal five. Okay, there we go. I was totally confused. I was like, no. <laughs> it, can hmm? it can do something. I have winged shoes. I can jump over them. Yay! Are you still going to heal yourself? Yeah, no? I, I'm going to heal myself. <laughs> I still <laughs> I'm going to use the wing shields and jump over her. Okay. Um, I will move three spaces. One, two, three. I guess here. Oh, should I stand in the door? No, I shouldn't. Uh, no, I, I don't think you should yet. I don't think let's so one I'm thing at a time. And then I'm going to attack this guy. And attack three. Plus one. He's dead, right? Yeah, he's the guy who was poisoned. Oh, so that's four points plus he's poisoned. So that's five, right? Yep, so he's dead. So that means I definitely need to get in the way here. I need everybody in the way. Um, and I refreshed the sun symbol. Okay. Okay. Now it's your turn. Okay. So my shadow, my remaining shadow wolf goes one, two, three. And next to the remaining guy and hits him for two plus two hits him for four one two three four and then my thorn shooter shoots him for two and poison plus one three and poison so now this guy's down to one and he's also poisoned and I was going to do things a little bit different, but I think I need to kind of move into that next room to try to block him because otherwise he's going to go through the door. He he's can. Be oh, he can. He can go through yeah. me. He can go through us. Yeah. And get in that doorway. Yeah. I think you have to do that. Okay, so I have a move three and one adjacent summoned ally also performs move three. So I'm going to go one, two, three into the doorway. And then I guess we have to spawn stuff. An archer and a shaman and an elite stone guy. Yep. Yay. Oh no, an archer and a um, guard. Guard, yeah. Okay, and so then my wolf, because he gets to move two, he or gets to move three, he goes one, two, three, I guess. Right in front of me. And then I have... No, wait, it's a, sh it's, what is this? <laughs> it's a guard. We don't have, there's no shaman. A guard and a shaman. Right? Right. Stupid shaman. Okay. Okay. And then so that's that one done. And then um, I have this. Wait a second. One, two. Okay. Yeah. He can't. He's not going to. He can't move through us to get to it. So um, 
Where did you put the guard? The... the wolf is right in front of me. Like, yeah. Um, and then I have a two summon allies within range to perform a um, move plus zero with me controlling the actions. So he's just going to move up in the faces of these guys. Just so that he can die sooner rather than later, I guess. Okay. Actually, mostly just to keep them further back. Um, and that is my turn. Okay. The shaman. Um, oh, jeez. The shaman is going to move, I guess, here. And then heal this archer. Where is he moving? Oh, like there? Okay. And heal the archer for three points. No, to get rid of the poison. Okay. The archer's not poisoned. Um, the guard is... Ooh, the guard has a ranged attack. <laughs> um, the guard has to back up. I guess this way towards... There. Yeah. And shoots your wolf. Draws a plus zero. Uh, three points to your wolf. Wolf is dead. We need to get one of them to step on the trap, or one of us has to step on a trap so that he doesn't step on a trap. <laughs> okay. Just um, <laughs> The archer is going to attack me, but needs to move. Can't move. So attacks me at disadvantage. Is he going to attack you, or is he going to attack my thorn shooter? Attack me, right? I have higher initiative. I guess Oh, but no, I think he attacks me, because I have higher or lower initiative. OK. Even though he's at disadvantage, I think. Good question. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it attacks you. Because okay. it already focused on you. All right, so... Oh, wait, no, wait. A monster will focus on the enemy figure. It can perform its current attack against using the least amount of movement. It attacks my guy. Wait, you just said using the least amount of movement. Yeah, um, that is after it... Yeah, so the one it can use its attack against without moving. So that means it attacks my guy. Initiative is second after that. Okay. I drew a plus one, so um, that's four points to your guy. He did. Everybody did. So much dead. And then the stone golem moves too. Uh, I guess towards the middle of the room. Yeah. Hmm. Next round. I have to do a short rest. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> I should try to run in there and just take a whole bunch of hits, right? Um, I guess. <laughs> I'm thinking about how to just clear them as quickly as possible. Um,
Yeah, I don't know. This is where we lost last time. All right, I have 23. I have 94. Damn it, they're fast. Um, the shaman. Move to attack one, range three. Doesn't need to move because he's within range. Um, I think the shaman shoots you because you're the only person he can shoot, see right now. Yeah. Um, okay, so he shoots you at plus one, so two points and you're disarmed. So that means I can't attack, right? Yeah. Dang. Or not with the weapon, I guess. Okay. Guard um, shields up, but doesn't move, so he doesn't do anything. And then it's my turn. Oh, geez. Should I? I was gonna run in, but we have this archer behind us. <laughs> yeah, um, we need to get rid of him because he's gonna start whacking our dude. Okay, I'm gonna attack the archer right next to us. Okay. Nice. <laughs> um, for four, minus one, for three, he's dead. He only had one. But now our dude is unblocked. Yeah, and then I'm going to move um, two spaces. One, two. OK. Oh, that didn't go as planned. <laughs> Okay, the archer is dead. The stone golem moves one, attacks six. Ooh, thank God. Okay, moves one, and that's it. And now it's your turn. Okay. I can't attack, so I am going to... I'm going to move. One, two. And I'm going to. I'm going to summon two things. I'm going to summon my living bomb. Um, Fire in the hole. <laughs> yeah, right between you and me. Oh wait, where'd you move? Uh, I'm like next to you diagonally, between you and the golem. That guy's dead, that guy's dead. Um, green one, one health, three, two. And then I am also going to summon uh, my skeleton guy behind me. Where? Uh, sort of behind me, but not in the doorway, next to the doorway, yeah. Okay. And then I am going to... Um, I'm going to recover two of my discarded cards. Wait, if you put your skeleton somewhere else, like one of these two spaces, you can move the guy, the NPC, to where the skeleton is. Would he go that way or would he go the other way? It's equidistant, right? 
Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah, let's put the skeleton guy, I guess, next to the golem then. Okay. And then he moves to behind us. Yeah. I'll take these two guys. Okay. Um, so how does this bomb work? Does the only so, affect them? It only affects enemies. It doesn't, it's uh, target all enemies within range two. It's an attack of three and it'll, fi it'll put fire on. Am I allowed, are we allowed to attack our own guys? <laughs> no, but, um, but he's right next to like all of them, so. Yeah. But we want them to attack him, right? Yeah. So he blows up. Yeah. So I, I mean, he's only going to do three damage to each of them. And actually, the stone golem has two shields, so he's only going to do... But what I mean is I don't want to go first. We want him to go first so that they attack him, right? Probably, yes. But I don't have low... I have hardly anything low. I have nothing low. Let's put it that way. No low initiative. Are you going to hear these um, jokes that May is telling in the next room? I don't. I don't hear. I okay. hear just mumbling. Okay, she's telling jokes. <laughs> Are they good jokes? Uh, she's reading them out of a Ranger Rick magazine. So yes, ish nerd jokes. <laughs> you want uh, to pick up cards from your discard pile? I only have one in my discard pile right this second, but if you're going after me, then I will have four. I might be going after you. Okay, I have 85. Oh, you are going after me. I have 45. Okay. First, the guard is going. He's moving three, attack two. <laughs> so he's going to go, I guess, here. Mm -hmm. Golem attack the little guy draws a minus one, so one point of damage to the little guy. That is fine. That kills the little guy. So now he does attack three, targeting all enemies. So does that mean I have to draw a card for each of them, right? I think so. Okay, so just let's just start uh with the guard, I guess. Attack three plus zero, so the guard gets three damage. Okay. Uh, then going clockwise, the shaman next. Plus one, so the shaman gets four damage. And then the golem gets four damage, minus two, so two damage. And that was my living bomb <laughs> doing his thing. Um, yeah, there you go. Okay, now it's your turn. Okay, so now my skeleton goes. He is going to hit the golem for two, plus one for three, minus two, so for one whole point. So exciting. And then um, I am going to, so I've got two summoned allies within range to perform attack plus zero with me controlling the actions. So again, my skeleton guy is gonna attack the golem for two plus zero, so for nothing. Ugh. 
And then um, one adjacent summon ally performs move plus one, attack plus one. Can he move into the middle there? He can. Okay, so he's going to go one, two into the middle to draw fire, and so he can attack more people. And he's going to attack the guard for three because it's attack plus one. Wait, attack the shaman. You might be able to kill him before the shaman gets to go. Oh, okay. I will attack the shaman for three. Plus one is four. Shaman is dead. Dead. And that is my turn. And then I don't know what we're going to do because he, this guy is about to go like running off for the hills. Yeah, but I have a turn first. Okay. Um, do you want to pick up cards or does it not, is it not useful? Oh, no. It would be good because I've got three, I've only got two cards left in my hand and one of them is the like refresh my hand card. So I tried to save that until like the last possible minute. Okay. You can pick up, um, two cards. Okay. And then my other thing is... Oh, Shit. I can pick up these two. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm not doing that. <laughs> oh, come on, Mark. <laughs> Instead, an adjacent ally can attack four, make an attack four. So I'm making your skeleton attack four. Okay. You can choose who to attack. I guess the guard. Yeah. All right. He's going to attack the guard for four plus zero, so four. One, two, three, four. This golem is going to be problematic. And I am, where am I? You're in the middle. No one's next to me. <laughs> right? Yeah, no one's next to you. Well, I am whipping. <laughs> Oh, wait, I can move. Oh, no, I can't move. That was that thing. I'm not doing anything. Sad. Sad. I don't, I don't want to waste. Well, maybe. He has two hit points left. Never mind, I am doing something. I'm going to, I'm going to fully strike the guard. No, I'm going to holy strike the golem. Okay. So it's attack four plus two. So four points, right? Because of the shield. Yeah. One, two, three, four. We need to wound this guy. Yeah. Um. guess that's it. Next turn. Oh no, this guy moves. One, two, oh, yeah. three. Where does he move? Around the stump? Or does he try to go through the middle? I think he tries to go through the middle. Like this will be closer. Yeah. He's right next to the guard. Jerk. <laughs> Such a jerk. Ugh. Jeez. And I can't, I have a healed too, but it's only summoned allies. If it was just any ally, I could heal him, but. Oh, I made a sun thing appear again. Okay. No Microsoft updates. I do not ever want to update. I'll tell you. Jeez. Okay. Um, I have 18. I have 98. Okay, me first. 
I'm going to move two to be here next to the golem okay. and shield up. Okay. So I have two shield now. And then I'm going to attack the golem for four times two. Yay! For eight minus two because of the shield. He's at one hit point. Okay. Jeez. Okay. Um, the guard doesn't need to move. It's going to attack, um, I guess, the skeleton mm -hmm. for three plus two for five points. He did. The guard also strengthens himself. Awesome. I love to hear that. Strengthen. And then the golem doesn't need to move and will attack both of us. Can we have him attack me first because he'll die and then he won't attack you, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because his shield first. doesn't work against retaliate. Hmm? His shield doesn't work against retaliate. Right. So he attacks me at minus two, so it's two points, but I have two shield right now, so zero points. And then he dies because he has one hit point and I do two retaliate. Okay, dead. And now it's your turn. Okay. What I was gonna do is not what I'm gonna do, I think. Um, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna move to shoot. He's gonna walk straight into a trap on this next turn. Like on this turn. Oh yeah. And how much is trap damage at this level? Three. Four. Four. Which brings him down to five. I can heal him. Okay. I'm going to move to one, two. And then I'm summoning a slime spirit. Where are you moving? I'm summoning a slime spirit. Okay. Right behind this guard. Right onto the loot, you mean? No. Like between the guard and the chest? I mean the trap? Yes. Okay. He's he's sort of defending the, the back. Um and slime spirit is my tank, so okay. Um oh that guy died. Um, and that is my turn. I have to take a short rest. Okay. So this guy walks onto a trap. <laughs> One, yeah. I guess front and center. Yep. <sighs> this guy is driving me nuts. Jeez, how many more bad guys are there? I don't think there's a ton more bad guys. Oh, five. <laughs> <laughs> we can do this. We can do this. I'm going to run out of cards, man. Yeah, what an idiot. All right, next round. I have. Oh, you're doing you're doing a short rest. Yeah, I did my short rest. Um, this I guess. I have twenty nine. I have thirty two. Guard has fifty. Okay. Um, 
Oh man, he's not even within range. I have to get I have to get closer to him. <laughs> I'm gonna move three. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Okay. Shit. He's just gonna walk through the door. Um, I'm gonna heal him for three points. Okay. And cause the sun uh, thing to appear again, or refresh, or whatever. He's gonna walk through that door and get squished. Whatever. I have to do a short rest. Okay, is it my turn? Yes. Okay, my slime guy hits this guy for one and muddle because he's so powerful. Ooh, wound. Plus one, two and muddle, that guy dead. Yay. Yay, dead. Dead. Um, and then I am going to recover up to four of my lost cards. Let's see which ones I'm going to recover. These ones. Yeah, these ones. And that can go back in there. And then I am just going to attack the air, I guess, because I there's we I killed the guy. So with That's it? Yeah, that's it. And so this guy's gonna go in and get whacked. Yeah, he moves through spaces. What do we have in this room? Oh. An elite archer. No, that's a guard. Oh yeah, an elite guard. And a regular archer, it looks like. Um, I guess he goes like one, two towards the corner. Yeah, I guess so, look right there. Yeah, that's where I put him. I gotta like move some of this stuff out the way. We're not going backwards. The archer and guard have to go. Yeah, they do. Archer four. Shit. Okay. The archer has a range of four. One, two, three, four. God damn it. He's going to shoot the NPC. Uh, Draws a whiff. Phew. The guard moves two and attacks four. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Draws a minus one. So hits, hits the guy for three points. So we're back down to five again. And now it's the next round. Stupid NPC. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Yeah. Shit. I'm gonna run out of cards, but I think I have to do this. Oh shit, I can't do that. Hmm. We're gonna lose again. This is... This is an absurd scenario. <laughs> no kidding. I don't even know if we have other ones we can do to like. I, I, is this was this it? We're stuck with this one. Um. Let me see. Well, let's let's do this first. <laughs> oh no, we have some we have some side quests we can do, but it's not like I'm. I'm not sure it's going to help. Let's put it that way. Unless one of us retires and we get like a better, I don't know. Okay. I got 55. Um, I have 82, I guess. Shit. Did you this need me to way work? easier with more people, I feel like, with more characters? Probably. 
Okay, the archer has a range of three, but move three. So archer's gonna move forward one and shoot him. Drawing up plus zero. So one point of damage to him. I'm gonna run in there. <laughs> Two, three, four. And then attack this guy with an attack four. That's one. Five points on the guard. Oh, he has retaliate. He has a retaliate too, so I get two points. <laughs> this is terrible. This is terrible. I'm at eight now. Uh, the guard is going to move one, doesn't need to, and attacks me for five. Draws a plus zero. I have, um, I'm going to use my chain mail. So I have two shields, so it does three points of damage to me. Okay. It also gets retaliated for two points. So he's down to five. And now it's your turn. All right. So my slime spirit goes one, two, three. And then he can't attack anything because there's nobody next to him. And then I'm going to move four. Oh, this is terrible. I have, mm, I'm too far away. One, two, three, four. And I was gonna sh summon shadow wolves, but they're gonna be stuck behind everybody. Well, I mean, they could run around this way, I guess. Yeah. I guess I'll just summon them. I'm going to summon two shadow wolves. Oh, wait, I can't because I don't have two empty spaces. I'm not summoning my shadow wolves. I'm attacking the air. Shit. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, next round. Oh no, not next round, he moves. One, two, three, he's over here now. Like behind the guard? In the guard in the trap. Okay. <sighs> he has four hit points, right? Yeah. I have to heal him. All right, I'm gonna do that. This is just no bueno. <laughs> I think I can get ahead of him on this next turn. Me too, hopefully. Okay. Um, I have 29. I have 45. Okay, we do, we go first. Um, I'm gonna heal him for three. Okay. And cause the sun thing to appear. Okay. And then I'm gonna move three. One, two, three. Wait, would you prefer I be here or here? Does it matter for you? Uh, I prefer that you are blocking the stump side, I think. Okay. Hold on. Uh,
No, it doesn't matter to me. I guess the question is, we want the guard. We want the guard to attack me. Yeah. So I'll, I'll be here. Okay. And now it's your turn. Okay. Uh, my slime mold <laughs> moves up one uh, to attack the guard for one and muddle. Ooh, heals himself for one. Okay. So heals himself for one and muddle, but he didn't get hit at all. So the guard gets one point and muddle. Oops, that's not muddle. And then retaliates against my guy for two, but my guy has two shields, so no problem. I thought shield didn't uh, protect from retaliate. Oh, you're right. It doesn't. So two points off. Um, th does the healing of himself happen after? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think so. <laughs> so then I'm going to heal him for two. OK. And then um, one adjacent summoned ally performs move plus one, attack plus one. Um, so he attacks for two. Any whiffs because that's our luck on this. Um, and then I am moving five and creating a wind symbol. So, um, one, two, three, four, five, up next to the archer with you in front of mm -hmm. the dude. And now I have to do a short rest. OK. Um, the guard attacks me for four, but he's got muddle. So he draws a plus zero and a plus zero. So it attacks me for four, but I have two shields on right now. So I get hit for two. I'm down to three and he gets retaliated for two. So he's down to two. Okay. No longer muddled. Um, the archer, pack one, range three, target two. Yeah. Can he, he doesn't move though, right? He doesn't move, so he attacks. You and me, I think. I guess so. Or, At, or the slime and the NPC. Oh, yeah, I bet he does the slime and the NPC because he doesn't have to move. Yeah, and he doesn't get disadvantage against them. So I'll do the slime first. Draws a plus one, so that's um, two points on the slime. But the slime is shielded, so zero. Nothing. Plus zero, so one point on the NPC. He's down to six. OK, that's it. That was not that bad. Not as bad as it could have been. Sadly, I lost my wolves in that last short rest, so I have no wolves, which is really sad because those are like my go-to guys. If you have hit points, you can lose hit points instead. Oh, that's true. Wait, do I lose hit points or do I give up hit points and then pick something else? You lose hit points and then have to sh shuffle and randomly pick something else to lose, I think. Where is resting? How awesome is it that we're now at like uh, over a year of playing this game and I still have to look stuff up? <laughs> well, but we only play like once every two weeks or something like that. That is very true. Where's resting? Can't find where resting is. Exhaustion. Bonuses, attack effects. 
Why can't I find resting? What the heck? <laughs> you want me to start looking too? Probably, because this is ridiculous. Isn't there an index? There is, but I don't see resting on here. Ah, here we go. I found it. Page 17. Okay. One damage. Yeah, I'm going to take the one damage and randomly lose a different card. Which it's only one damage? Damn. Huh? Yeah, one damage is nothing. I'm trying to remember which card was still in my hand. I think it was this one. So then I lose the thorn shooter instead. I, I guess the wolves are better. The wolves are better. Oh well. The thorn shooter is good if we're not trying to protect something. The thorn shooter is great for that, but we're trying to like get in the way of this dude. Oh, yeah. we didn't let him go. He needs to go. He didn't move. Oh, yeah, yeah. He has to go. One, two, three, I guess, here. Yeah, that's what I think. I mean, at least the guard's not going to attack him. Um, okay, so you do a short rest, so you're picking cards, right? Yep. I have 82. I've got 18. I was shuffling, girlfriend. Whoa! The guard's going to move one, attack four, range two. He's either going to hit you or my dude. Yeah. Um, the archer's going to move to attack two, range three. So they're both, I think going to back up one and then shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> or the archer's going to shoot your, your slime guy. Yeah. But the guard's going to back up one and shoot me, I think. Awesome. So why don't I, but I can move. I'm going to move to here. OK. And shield myself up twice. Double shield. Yeah, so now I have shield four. <laughs> OK. And then the archer. Is I think is just going to shoot the slime guy because he doesn't have to move then, right? Yeah. He's going to move and then shoot me. No, he's going to shoot the slime guy. Okay, so he shoots the slime guy, um, gets a minus one, so it does one point. The slime guy has armor, mm -hmm. does nothing. Mm -hmm. The guard is just going to shoot me. And draws a minus two. So it does zero damage as well. Cool. And now it's your turn. All right, my slime attacks the guard for one point of damage and muddle. For plus one, two points of damage and muddle, but that kills him, right? Yeah, it does. Slime uh, MVP. 
<laughs> the slime is the MVP. Yes, there is. Um, and then I am moving forward five. One, two, three, four, five. So I can block that doorway and he can't get through. You're going to stand in the door? I'm standing in the door because that is the only way to keep him from getting into the next room. And then we've got a regular archer, a regular shaman, and a regular guard, it looks like. Yeah. Yes, that's it. OK. Um, and I am going to summon my two shadow wolves. Directly in front of me. Um, and that is my turn. And I'm going to be out of cards like really soon. I'm down to like maybe, let's see, one, two, maybe three turns, maybe only two turns. Okay, so the shaman has to go. Um, move three, attack one, range three, curse. <laughs> uh, he's going to curse you. So he's going to go here next to the guard, shoot you, drawing a plus one. So that's two points, and you're cursed. Two points, and I'm cursed? Uh-huh. Then this archer needs to go. So a curse means I have to put a curse card in my hand? Yeah, in your deck, yeah. Yeah. Just have two spaces to be on the other side of the guard. And then shoot you for two plus one. Shoot you for three. That's fine. And then this guard. Wait, aren't they shooting my they're not shooting me, they're shooting my dudes. Where what dudes? Oh, you I summoned guys? Shadow wolves, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I did. I totally missed that. <laughs> they are shooting your shadows. They might be the least useful shadow wolves ever. So, how much damage did I do, or all the damage that you just got went to a shadow wolf instead? Because it was a it was a one and curse, right? Okay. But it was target two. So both of my shadow wolves took a damage. Oh, yeah. And so you get two curse cards, I think. Yay. Um, and then the one got hit for three. Yes. Uh, which one? The one on the right or the left? The one on the right, I guess. OK. He's dead now. OK, and then the, the guard shoots the other shadow wolf. Draw the mind. Two points. Two points. He's also dead. Good uh, meat soak. Damage soak. That was sad. That was sad. And we have a lot of damage to do in like two turns. Yeah. And I have to do a short rest. OK. Do you want to come up? Oh, shit. Yeah, because I have no more summons. I have zero more summons I can play. I am now out of summons. Do you have any AOE? Mm -mm. Nope. So there's going to be a lot of me just like running up and hitting things. 
I still have my slime. My slime's still back here, but he's way back here. How, how far can your slime move? Three. So he can get this archer guy. Oh, this guy's got to move. Oh, yeah. One, two. He's like up behind me, I guess. I guess so, yeah. Okay. I have 29. I have 32. Come on up, then. Do you need to be lifted? That wants to be involved. <laughs> <laughs> the shaman, you're within range, so the shaman's just going to shoot you and okay. immobilize you. And immobilize me? Uh huh. All right. He that's shoots you, he shoots you for three. Crap. Okay. All right. The guard is shielding up and not doing anything. Okay. That's my turn. Um, Jesus Christ. I feel like I need to run in there. You have even less hit points than I do. Yeah, but I've got all this shield stuff and retaliate. All right. Well, anyways, I'm going to uh, heal the NPC. Okay. Wait, how many hit points does he have? He has six. He's actually doing better than the rest of us. I'm healing myself for three. Okay. I have six now. And I'm moving three. One, two, three to here. Sucky. Yeah. And I'm going to use a stamina potion so I get these cards back. Um, Jesus, it's your turn. Okay, my slam guy goes one, two, up next to this archer guy. And he's going to hit for one and muddle. Zero, he hits just for one and muddle. Is this his first damage? No. Oh, that guy's first damage, yes. Yeah. Um, and then I am going to shoot the shaman, I guess, for three. Um, yeah, I'll shoot the shaman for three. And I whiffed, because of course I did. And then I am attacking, no, I'm not. What am I doing? I guess I need to get up next to that shaman so that he hits me instead of the NPC, right? How many hit points do you have? Five. I guess so, yeah. <laughs> when You're immobilized though, right? Oh, right, I'm immobilized. Never mind, I don't do anything else and I have to do a short rest. Okay, the archers go. Um, this guy is just going to shoot me, I think. One, two, three. Oh, range two. He's going to move one and then shoot me. But he has got, he's got muddle. So times two or minus one. I'll take the minus one. Thank you. Because <laughs> I have shield. Um, 
these things expired. Um, and like I guess no longer muddled. The other archer is gonna move forward one, I guess, and then shoot you. I guess. Draws a plus zero. Um, three points. Yep, you move the sh shaman. Oh no, I put them in the wrong spaces, I guess. How many damage, you said? Three. Ugh. And now uh, it's next round. This is really hard. I don't, we have to do a total of what, 15, 24, um, <laughs> 31 I, damage total. I have no more summons and I don't have any more attack cards either, so. This very well may be impossible. This is going to be like that loot one, except for this is not a side quest that we can skip. Wow, Jesus Christ. Okay. It's because these guys have range. It's such a pain in the ass. Mm hmm This is so stupid. This is gonna be a fail. I only have two more, two more rounds. Mm. And two hit points, so I'm about to die anyway. There's no way around this. I mean, I, I can probably kill one or two of them. Oh, he already moved into the room, by the way. One, two, oh, shit, yeah. three. Yeah. Shaman. yeah. <laughs> okay. Jesus Christ. Uh, wow, that's bad. Uh, one, two, one, one, two, three. I think we're losing on this round, no matter what. Yeah, one, two, okay, I think you're right. Um, I am, I guess I'll do this. We did better this time. This one. Okay, I've got 18. I have 13. Okay, you go first. All right, so my slime mold hits this archer for one and muddle again. Plus one, he hits him for two and muddle. Okay. Um, my shadow wolves are vigorously protesting that there's neighbors walking. Um, and then I am going to move I guess one, and I'm going to hit this guy for two plus one for three. So I hit this archer guy, I guess, for three. And that is my turn. Okay. The This archer who's next to the slime guy, um, I think isn't going to move and just shoot me, right? Yeah, probably. Okay, so he shoots me, draws a minus one, and does zero points of damage. And then he also creates a three damage trap in an adjacent enemy closest to an enemy. So I guess next to me here. The no, other archer. Next to my slime guy. Closest to an enemy. Adjacent empty hex closest to an enemy. I mean, sure. <laughs> Does we get to choose? Sure. Okay. The slime guy's an enemy. Yeah. And then the other archer, I think, shoots me. 
Oh wait, the other guy had disadvantage. Minus one and minus one. Never mind. This guy shoots me also. Mm -hmm. Plus zero. So one point does nothing because I have armor. Right. Um, and then also creates a trap. I guess like right here. Um, yeah, and now it's my turn. You got any bombs or anything like that? <laughs> I use my moon earring to reflect, refresh my spent items so these two come back. I do not have any bombs. I'm going to... Shit. <laughs> Jeez. This sucks, but I think I have to do it. Uh, I'm going to move two onto this trap. Take three points of damage. And shield myself. So now I have three shields, I guess. Um, and I'm going to attack this guy for three points plus one, four points. Which guy? The archer? Yeah, he's not dead. He's got one hit point left. Hmm. That's my turn. And now those guys. The shaman uh, heals the archer we've been banging on for three points. Great. One, two, three. Uh, the guard attacks the NPC for three points. Okay, he's still alive. All right, next round. No. Ooh, man. Uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is my last turn. Be aware. <laughs> this is my second to last turn. Hmm. What does that mean? I think we should just call it. Yeah, because I can't, I can only do three damage this turn. That's not going to do anything. We should have ran for the chest. No. Oh, yeah, we should have. We should have just looted the chest this round. <laughs> I might be able to make it. I cannot. <laughs> this is stupid. Okay. Um, I have 29. <laughs> Five. At least we did better this time. Okay, you first. Me first? No, I Five. said 45. 45? Oh, shit. Okay, well, this shaman first. He's going to heal that archer again. <laughs> Great. Love that. One, two, three, for three points. So the archer is up to seven now. <sighs> uh, now my turn. I'm going to heal myself for three. And then I'm going to go one, two, three. Shit. I'm going to land on this trap. <laughs> Take three points. <laughs> that went well. And then I have to take a short rest. Um, 
and then the archers go. So this guy, oh crap, he's going to immobilize me. I won't be able to get to Chinachas next turn. <laughs> is he, or is he going to attack my guy? Well, but I have lower initiative. That's true. He has to move away. He's going to move one space away, shoot me. Whiff, yes. <laughs> <laughs> This guy is gonna move one away, and I gotta shoot you. I get a zero, so it does one point of damage and immobilizes you. That's fine. And then it's your turn with 45. Well, I now immobilized. So I stand there and attack the air like some sort of a weirdo. <laughs> uh, I'm just attacking the air. Man, okay. And now I'm done. I'm exhausted. I lay down to have a nap. Oh. The guard. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. My slime guy. My slime guy moves up one be next to this guy and hits him for one and muddle plus one. He hits him for two and muddle. That guy is down to three and he's muddled. Okay. Woo! The guard, I think, attacks the NPC. Mm -hmm. Draws a plus one, four damage on NPC. He's dead. We just lost. Shit. <laughs> God damn it. I was one turn away from the chest. Uh, this is the worst scenario ever. <laughs> I don't even think we were close. Um, if I hadn't lost my summons in unfortunate draw pile issues, um, we might have been closer. But he just goes so fast. Yeah, and these, I mean, with these four guys, 10... 17, 27 hit points. We have we would have to do 27 hit points worth of damage still. And like I was down, I only had one attack card. I have a lava golem, but if I use the lava golem, then I can't pick up more cards. And so I would have been exhausted way faster. So like I need a better stamina potion for one. If I had a better stamina potion, I could have done more. But with as small of a hand as I have, we have to be quick. And he is also quick, so I don't know. I don't know how to fix it. Cry. That's how we fix it. That was yeah. deep. That was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> in short, we hate escort quests. They better not put an escort quest in Frosthaven. I'll still play, but I'll be angry about it. Can we turn it down even further? We can, but that's not technically part of the rules. Oh. We're already playing easy. I know. <laughs> Play it on very easy, which is not a real thing. Or get somebody to join us for one. But then we'd have more bad guys. Yeah, we would have more bad guys. I feel like if only he was attacking along with us, he picked up a stupid sword. Maybe we should add, instead of making it easier, we should add a, like an attack one. We should That's look at the internet and zero see. Even. <laughs> yeah, even an attack zero. We should ask the internet. Wow, what a terrible scenario. 
I'm asking the internet. Kill all enemies. <laughs> first, first link. Uh, scenario number thirty-eight. Impossibly hard. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh man, what time is it? Four o'clock. I need a prep. Yeah, I don't. I don't see any like obvious tips. Let's see. It's like early rating and wow. Party wipe. Yeah. This guy says, don't be afraid of burning your cards early in the scenario. No. <laughs> the retaliate. Well, you know, next time we play, I'm not going to use up my retaliate stuff. Because against archers, it really doesn't help that much, you know? Yeah. Like having a shield up is good, but not the retaliate. So that would that would have been one extra card. Yeah, that would have been one extra card, so. They're recommending using your sun person and the scoundrel and the brute. But yeah, most of these people are playing with three or four players. So it's way easier because you're just block, you know? Yeah. I thought that my summons would help, but they did it help seems a like everybody, everybody has a lot of trouble with it because he just like goes running in everywhere. Yeah. I don't know. Too bad we can't shackle him or something. <laughs> yeah. you, now you're our slave. <laughs> <laughs> we need to we need to put um like what is it? Uh grow grow thorns or whatever so that he can't <laughs> whatever one of those slow down ones is. So what do we get? We just get the XP that we accrued, right? That's it. Mm -hmm. And any gold that we accrued, but I didn't pick anything up. I got 16 XP. Ooh, Let's see, nice. how far does that get me? I got nine. Oh. I'm not, I didn't make a level, but I'm getting there. I only need to play through that scenario one more time <laughs> to make a level. Same here. I have. <laughs> I'm three away from a level. Uh, okay, well, you just saw us lose. Tune in next time when we do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Thanks, Matt, for watching, and everybody else. Uh, I think they stopped watching. Yeah, I think like so. Like a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, no one, for watching. <laughs> yeah. Maybe this is the one I'm going to, like, put on mute and speed up and just have our voiceover <laughs> for that. Video. And they just have, like, all these pictures of us like this. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> <laughs> we were having fun until scenario 38. <laughs> yeah. I say if we lose one more time, we should give him like attack zero and or maybe like play it on ultra easy. That's probably the better way to go. The least weird way. But then we'll have made another level. So we'll so it will be even easier. So I don't know. I don't know. This guy, I'm going to take his sword and just beat him with it. <laughs> Dude, quit it. Whack. <laughs> yeah. He starts with half half damage because I hit him with the sword.
<laughs> Maybe if we luck out, like we could get a road event that gives us a blessed card or something like that. Or we could do that. Like I have a uh, 47 gold. We can visit like the temple and get a bless or something like that, right? Um, I forget how many more donations. Because I don't think we get a bless every time we donate to the temple. But I thought there was a way to get to get blessed somehow. I don't know. I feel like that's in the exciting versions. Once per visit Gloomhaven, each character, each player can donate ten gold. Oh. Allows donating player add two bless attack modifiers for the next scenario. It doesn't say there's a maximum. It's just that once you donated a hundred, you get a you get to unlock something. You actually get to unlock even more later. Um, I only have eight gold. Is the problem? Mm -hmm. But so have we? How much have we donated so far? Um, we have over a, a hundred. Actually, we have a hundred. But um, if we, so um, as we donate more, we get to, um, like every few, we get to add one prosperity. Oh, at 150, we get to add one prosperity, 200, etc. I only have eight gold though, so I don't have enough to donate. It says once per visit to Gloomhaven, you can donate 10. You can't donate more than 10 at once. Although I'm pretty sure that we donated all 101 in fell swoop. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I think that's true. But I don't think you used the bless card situation, so. Anyway. But I can donate 10 and get two bless cards. That would help. That would help. I cannot donate 10 and get two bless cards, but that's okay. We're two prosperity points away from four, which is when the better stamina potion comes out. And I'm like, well, we can't seem to beat anything. Hold on, let me see what scenarios we have. We have... We have the slave pens, then we have, what's 51? Oh, we can't do 51 yet because we have to defeat the slave pens. But we could do 63. Thanks for watching.